Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm back once again, and we are going to be talking about a team that's very exciting for me, and that is Fulham in London. Two huge signings yesterday, and I want to talk about them right in this video, guys. Before we jump into things, hit that sub button, hit that like button. We are very growing very fast, and I'm loving all the support in the channel, guys. It means a whole lot to me, and if you guys keep it up, I'd really appreciate it. But guys, hit the sub button, hit the like button, and drop some comments down below to let me know what you guys think of these transfers and the video. But guys, let's jump straight into things, and I want to start off by talking about the not-so-big one that happened yesterday, and that is Paolo Gazaniga. Some of you guys might think this, is, this isn't a great transfer. It's not that good. I absolutely love this transfer from Fulham. I, I jumped on it straight away. A lot of people might not think this is really exciting. Only playing eight games in La Liga last year, having nine goals against, with a 61.9% save, or save percentage. People might criticize that, saying that's not so good, guys, but you got to look at the team he played for here. He played for Elche. Elche is not a great side in La Liga. Elche is a really poor team. I've never rated Elche. Elche is not a good side at all. They didn't finish too high in La Liga last year. He did only play eight games, but he did, for me, he did okay in those eight games, winning three, drawing one, and losing four. He still played pretty decent for a guy who obviously wasn't a starter every game, game in and game out. He was not there always uh, their starter, which was never the plan for Paulo Gazaniga. And now uh, he go went back to Tottenham, and Tottenham's released him on a free because his contract ran out. So Fulham's gone out and did, for me, I'm calling this Fulham's gone out and did a madness because I think this is a great signing. People might think this isn't a good signing. He's not up to the quality. He's a 29-year-old Argentinian goalie who's still got a lot to show for me, guys. I think he's still a great goalkeeper. I think some of his stats still show that. I think he's still a very good quality goalkeeper for a top-end championship side or a lower-end Premier League side. And when you get in the Premier League, he can always be a backup. But I think he'll be your starter in the Premier League. Sorry, I got an itchy neck there, guys. But as we saw for Tottenham a little while ago, I think he had some good performances. I think the standout one was where he clawed Tom Abraham, but I still think he had some very good performances for Tottenham when he had to fill in for Hugo Lloris when he went out with that broken shoulder, I think it was. But I still rate Gazaniga. I think he's had some tough times of it, but I think Fulham's the right place for him to go, come back, stay in London, and I think he'll get the start. I really hope he gets a start at Fulham because I think he will show what he's got. And before I move on to the really the juicy, the big, interesting transfer of yesterday in a whole for me, which happened in London again, which just like my other video I put out earlier. But I want to talk about some of his stats for Gazniga. I want to touch on his good stats. This is probably a really cool stat I, I find here. If you look at FB Ref, which is by far my favorite stats uh, website for football. Average length of goal kicks. Never knew they would have covered this. 65.5 per 90. And he is in the 97th percentile. Goal kicks, 72 percentile. Launch percent. That is crazy. Launch, obviously, that kind of states exactly what it is right there. Launch percent. 89th percentile, which is really impressive for a team, like, for a goalkeeper. And it's really cool to see. Penalty saves, he's 77%, which is really cool. Uh, great for a goalkeeper. Seems like all Argentinian goalkeepers are quality at saving pe penalties. Caballero, Martinez, and now you have Gaznica, who I didn't really know about. But guys, cross is stopped. I I just realized this before I wanted to move on. 73%, which is really good. 8.5% per of a 90. So guys, Gaznica, you might be asking me, what is he going to cost us as a Fulham fans? He's going to cost you nothing. He is, like I said, he's a free transfer. He doesn't have a, he's not on contract with anyone. Taught him, released him. I think the, tr the fee was till 2023. I think they're taking a two-year deal on him. Give him a shot, see what he's got. Maybe play him as a backup when they come back. Because for these two transfers, I think it's going to push them right back up to the Premier League. Bring in a good manager, and I think they got a really good side here, guys. With this signing right here that I'm about to talk about. Harry freaking Wilson. Fulham have brought in Harry Wilson from Liverpool. I never thought they would bring in Harry Wilson. Everyone was making fun of, fun of um, the way they presented Harry Wilson and Gazniga yesterday, each holding up a scarf. And Harry Wilson didn't look too happy. Everyone's saying, oh, he's not happy that he's at Fulham. Blah, 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 blah. Harry Wilson's back in the championship. Was with Bournemouth. Now he's with Fulham. And for me, guys, if you're going to say, can he elevate them? Is he going to be a good in the championship? At his age, it's going to be good enough. I think he's freaking unbelievable. Harry Wilson is one of those players you're like, wow. 
wow. Whenever I seen him play with Liverpool back in the day when he actually still played with Liverpool a couple of games, he would be hitting these diamonds of free kicks, beautiful balls, dribbling unbelievably. And Fulham are getting a steal of a deal here, guys. Last year in the championship playing for Bournemouth, he put up 37 games, 2,811 minutes, putting in 7 goals and 11 assists, 18 goal contributions from a 24-year-old in the championship. It's one of the most, it is the physical, most physicality league in the world. One of the toughest leagues in the world for me. Born March 22nd, my birthday. Yep, quality player. Left footer. He can play on the right side, he can play right wing, he can play attacking midfielder. For me, he's best on the right. He, he is great behind the striker, setting up strikers, playing beautiful balls in behind. And, guys, I can't say anything more about this signing that it's unbelievable. I'm going to jump right into the contract details right now for you guys. Harry Wilson will be signing on to a five-year deal until 2026 from Liverpool for 12 million euros. What it what an absolute steal of a deal for Fulham. When I saw this come out yesterday, I was like, man, this is unreal. What a signing Fulham are pulling off here. And you can't upload them anymore. I never thought Harry Wilson would be back in the championship. I thought he would have been a mid tail below lower side Premier League side team. Cause he is of that quality and of that caliber. But for him to go to Fulham, I think he's he's really showed himself in the championship already. I think he'll push Fulham into the Premier League again, bring them back to where they deserve. Fulham needs to bring in that quality manager. Fulham needs to stay up with the Premier League next year. And if Harry Wilson can help him do that, I think he'll earn himself another bigger move. But this is massive for Harry Wilson. This is massive for Fulham. And I couldn't rate this transfer any higher for Fulham. And what a great transfer window Fulham are off to. And... I'll applaud them as much as I can, guys. But this is just fantastic. I highly rate Fulham for what they've done. And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What you think of these transfers? Harry Wilson think it's a steal of a deal. Gaznigo, what do you think of him? Because I think it's a very interesting transfer. And you think Fulham will come right back up? I'll do a preview video on them later in the season. Or later in the offseason here, guys. But guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hit the like button. Hit the sub button. And let's keep up the positivity on the channel. But for now, guys, I'm going to have to say peace.